Hey, peace, love, and light. This is going to be a reading for the divine masculine. We want to take a peek into the divine masculine's energy, see what's going on with the beloved, to see where they are on this journey. I have a card that just slipped away. Got a couple of cards, rather. So the card we have is a new romantic cycle begins. The song that's playing right now, for all who are new, my name is Q. I am Claire Audient. I am a Scorpio. This reading is going to be a general reading for the collective. We're tapping into the energy of the Divine Masculine. Right now, we have the OJ's um, Forever Mind, or Forever Mind, excuse me. Um, and then we have a new romantic cycle begins as one of the cards that kind of flew out. We also have Don't Let Pride Get In Your Way. And then we also have take time to breathe out. OK, so this is the energy of the divine masculine. They're taking some time out. Maybe some of you feminines have not heard from your masculine in a while. And it's because they're taking the necessary time to heal, um, taking the necessary time to, you know, try to figure out how they're feeling, what they're feeling. I feel like some of them are very proud. So if you haven't heard from them, it's because they're, you know, very, very much in a very proud space. Maybe they're afraid of being heard, afraid of expressing themselves. I'm definitely feeling like um, there's going to be an opportunity for you to come in union with your divine masculine, divine feminines. If you are uh, concerned about that, um, I am feeling some of you couldn't be dealing with either a Libra, a Leo, or maybe even a Cancer. Um, there's definitely time uh, that this person is kind of addressing their feelings, trying to figure out what they're feeling, how they're feeling. So they may have taken a pause. Uh, you may not have heard from this person. They may have ghosted you. There may have been some sort of distance um, or create, you know, some distance created. Uh, maybe you all are in separation. Maybe you all are doing your own thing, but there's definitely no communication. Uh, we have a fire me fiery climax of, uh, approaches here so for some of you there will be you know uh, something unexpected I feel like this person will take action to come towards you um, so you know you just have to be patient with the process because they're doing some sort of internal work introspective work so you all need to you know just just be patient with the process um, so let's tap into the energy before we do I call upon the elements of water fire earth air ethers and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light i call personally upon baba obatala and mama oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards i call upon archangel mikael archangel gabriel uriel as well as archangel metatron to bless me with the intuition, the discernment, and the ability to speak clearly and concisely. And so it is. So mote it be ashe. So in that song, Forever Mind, he was saying, you're my kind. You know, you're my type. I got what you want. You got what I need. So this person is realizing that maybe through their time away, through meditating to get things straight, through taking those, you know, that emotional withdrawal, that time to really assess. I feel like they are coming to these epiphanies right now we have sybil don't make me over all right so i'm definitely feeling like they don't want you know anyone else to replace them you know they want you to give them a moment to you know to figure out how they're feeling because they are coming through you know with a genuine offer you know but there was a lot of work in a work that was necessary okay i feel good with that shuffle so let's go ahead so welcome, welcome, welcome to all who are new. This is a general reading for the Divine Masculines. We are tapping into the Divine Masculines energy to see what they're going through, how they're feeling about our Divine Feminines. And just to kind of like do a little eye spy, a little energy check in, you know, I'm talking map. Bottom of the deck, we have nothing will come of this situation. So don't make me over nothing will come of this situation for some of your divine masculines they don't think that this relationship or this connection can really sustain you know maybe they're feeling um they're feeling a little broken right now they're feeling a little pessimistic 
Um, but deep down, they don't want you to replace them because don't make me over. But maybe there's some sort of um, maybe if they are in separation, they could be seeing someone else, which is why they may have ghosted you. And maybe they're coming with, you know, coming up with this epiphany or coming to some grand epiphany that whatever the relationship is that they're in currently, nothing is going to come of that situation. And maybe this is because they're coming to realize, you know, just what they feel for you. You know, that something is is a little deeper there for you. Um, but I am sensing we're going to we're going to delve a little deeper. Wow, that just flew up and out. So it says adjustments are required. So whatever it is that they are, you know, whatever connection they're in currently, I feel like they're coming to this realization that this connection isn't going anywhere and they need to make some adjustments. They may need to flat out leave the situation overall because i feel like your person whoever this is um you know there's a sense of a void you know there's a sense that you know they're not feeling fulfilled they're not feeling satisfied you know there's no stimulation it's not stimulating them to any degree and so they're afraid you know they don't want to confront the situation but they know that it, it's the end of the road and i'm hearing new addition I said new edition, boys to men, so loud in my mind's eye. Although we've come to the end of the road, still I can't let go. That's what I'm hearing in my mind's eye, so loud. And I have, whenever I hear it loud, I got to sing along with it so you could like feel it because it's like, that's how I hear it. And so it's like, this person knows and that's why you all not have not heard from your divine masculine because they are wrapping something up they're wrapping up some sort of karmic relationship and what it you know this song the way i interpret it don't make me over is like you know she's saying like don't make me over don't try to change me so maybe they're in a relationship with someone who's trying to make them something that they know they aren't and maybe you all divine feminines you're their perfect match because it was just it was a very effortless connection the chemistry was there the, you know the attraction was there you know but maybe something in there you know something that um maybe in their belief system you know led them to think that they could not take things further with you and had to you know go along with this karma but they're not happy because they're saying like nothing's going to come of this situation so they really don't feel like the car the situation they're in is going to take them anywhere um we have uh alicia myers i want to thank you um so i definitely feel like you know perhaps your person is seeking counsel through you know their angels their ancestors maybe they are connecting with their spirit team their deities um they're definitely making some sort of um, they're making a spiritual connection and they're receiving, you know, insight, you know, and that's how they're able to see what adjustments need to be made, see what changes, you know, they're able to assess the whole scenario as a whole. Um, and they're, you know, they, they may come off a, a little proud, you know, they, they have a lot of pride, a lot of ego, but I am sensing that this person, um, is being told, you know, like, you know, especially by their, 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 you know, angels, their, you know, whoever that it is that they're, they believe in is, is letting them know, like, look, pride, don't let it get in your way. If this is something that you want, if this is, you know, a connection that you really desire, don't let pride get in your way. Don't let ego prevent you from taking the first step, making the first step. So let's see what's going on with the divine masculine's energy, divine spirit. What additional messages do we have for the divine feminines? in regards to their divine masculines and this reading is for people who are not in union right now so you know this is who you're attracting ladies or, or masculines if some of you are in same-sex relationships um, but this is definitely to see who is coming in with what they're dealing with at this time so it says the answers you need are coming so they definitely are going within, they're seeking counsel, they're getting some sort of um, communication, they're receiving some sort of communication, and I feel like this is coming from, like I said, like, you know, whatever they're, whoever they're communicating with, you know, even con connecting to their higher self, you know, even if they're meditating, they're receiving the downloads, they're receiving those, you know, those transmissions from spirit. 
I also feel like there's going to be, uh, there's going to be some form of communication from this person. Like they may just reach out to you randomly and just say, what's up, you know? Um, and some of y'all might thank the most high because it's like, maybe y'all have been waiting to hear from this person. I definitely feel like there's been no communication at all. And the divine is telling you, like, believe in the impossible. Maybe your person is starting to believe in the impossible because maybe this seemed like a situation that was never going to get right. But it's because they were attached to something that they needed to release. You can't come into union with your divine feminine or your divine masculine if you still are being bound and, you know, held up by some karmic. So in order for you to have something new, you have to like let go of the past. You got to release it. You got to kind of close the door to that past person and a personal issue reaches, you know, resolutions. So two messages speaking to um, resolve, you know, this came up during the pre-shuffle. So there is going to be some sort of resolve. Many of you could be dealing with, like I said, you could be dealing with um, a water sign. I'm seeing that. With this Cancerian energy, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini specifically. Um, but I am feeling and sensing that someone is purging something that no longer is serving them. They're coming to some sort of realization and they're thanking their angels, their guides, their higher selves for bringing them to this conclusion. To helping them discover, you know, what it is they need to do. Um, balance spirituality and practicality. So balance was necessary. They were out of balance. They were out of alignment and they needed to balance things out. Maybe they were dealing with someone that was like an energy vampire or someone superficial, someone that kind of veered them off their spiritual path. And this divine masculine is now trying to find that balance, restore that balance. All right. Divine spirit of love and light. What's going on with this divine masculine for our divine feminines? What's going on with this divine masculine? All right, so we got your message. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, a time to give rather than take. So, yes, this person was um, very selfish, very self-absorbed, especially with their love. I feel like they did not reciprocate in a partnership with you. I feel like that's because they were dealing with someone else. This is on the very bottom of the deck, you know, along with expect a powerful change. So expect a powerful change from your person, perhaps even in regards to the give and take of the partnership. This person may return and they may come back um, very giving, very caring, very attentive, very different from how they were initially with you. And we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So your person is making um, some really serious um, and powerful changes um, right now in regards to um you know, what they want their future to look like, how they wish to um, to move forward with their lives. They're definitely ending something. And we have um, Michelle lay something in my heart. So I feel like, you know, it's been tough being away from and separated from their divine feminine. And so they're realizing there's something still there for you, divine feminine. The divine masculine is realizing that whatever they were trying to repress whatever it was they were trying to avoid when it came to love um that they cannot suppress it you can't fake love you can't fake chemistry you can't fake it and so maybe for a long time whoever your person you know was distracted by that karmic um you know she's definitely uh gonna be you know she's going to be released because i feel like your person has been doing some work and they're they're aware that they need to make the necessary changes if they desire happiness if they desire peace if they desire to be in union with you divine feminine because there's some powerful changes that are going to take place and this cycle of separation this tough cycle of separation is about to come to a close because i feel like your person is realizing you know how much they care about you how much they love you and also just how much they miss you you know, bottom of the deck, we have rebirth. So there's been major transformations. There's been a lot of shifts and changes, adjustments, you know. So your person is like transforming. They're changing their whole perspective. They're changing their whole belief system. They're changing even some of their own ideologies. The ways that they may have looked at things prior is no, it no longer um, 
fits the person that they have transformed into. There's something in their heart that they cannot ignore anymore. And it's because they're listening to their intuition. This is 16, which breaks down to seven. And that represents the seventh chakra, which is your crown chakra. So they're listening to their intuition, their higher self. That's what the divine was telling them. You know, the answers that you, you seek are absolutely, you know, reaching a climax. Things are about to, to um, you know, about to change, you know, end of a tough cycle. So let's 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 go ahead and shuffle these cards and we got abundance 88. So there's a lot of abundance. Maybe your person is feeling, you know, um, very successful right now. Maybe they've been working on their money, working on, you know, I'm hearing grinding. You know, who who was that with um, Pharrell doing the beat? Um, yeah, I'm hearing that. So your person's been like grinding hard. You know, they may have been working on their savings. It's almost like they were preparing for you. You know, because something's in their heart. They've always felt these feelings. But, you know, sometimes when you're in a partnership, you're trying to do right by the person you're with. Um, and my shirt is super long, big right now because I just finished doing a fast. And, you know, I kind of lost a little bit of little weight um, in that process. Um, I'm going to do another one starting tomorrow for another seven days. But this time I'm going to incorporate like cucumbers and tomatoes and you know, like um, watery fruits and vegetables, you know, like, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm in going into a whole diatribe, but, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, your person has been like learning. I feel like some of you have been teaching your person because you've been doing your own spiritual work, your inner work. And so by you doing that work, you may have activated or triggered your person. And that's what's bringing them to this realization that, you know, they can no longer live this lie. They can no ignore. They can no longer ignore what they're feeling in their heart. Like Michelle is saying, they know they need to make these adjustments. They need to make some revisions, you know, in terms of just their life and the direction they wish for it to go, because they're starting to receive answers. They are starting to, you know, receive you know, some clarity in terms of what they need to do. They've been learning, you know, I feel like a lot of you have been good teachers. You've been mad. You've been great teachers because a lot of you are very psychic. A lot of you are very intuitive, very clairvoyant. You're very tapped in, tuned in. And I feel like a lot of you may have been manifesting this, whether you realize it or not, you know, because we all don't realize the power of the mind. The mind acts as a projector. What you think about the most is what you create in this physical reality. So many of you feminines have been just like visualizing yourselves coming back into union with your person, visualizing yourselves living with your person, visualizing yourselves doing fun things, taking trips, being together, laughing together. Maybe you're visualizing and reminiscing on times that you were with this person in the past. And that definitely sends, you know, because we are electromagnetic beings. So whatever you're thinking about, you attract it. And so maybe in the process of you learning, you you know, started to teach your person because you activated them in some way. You triggered them to do their work. I feel like health is very, uh, very important right now. So for some of you, I'm hearing like mental health, especially. So maybe your person is a little confused, conflicted, um, struggling mentally. Maybe they're stressed. Maybe they're overthinking. There's some sort of mental conflict. And I feel like this is like weighing on someone or some of you divine feminines. You know, maybe you've been like obsessively thinking about your person, obsessively, you know, thinking about partnership. I feel like there's this deep longing, deep yearning. But I feel like, you know, take care of yourselves, you know, heal yourselves, practice health care, you know, self-care, excuse me, practice, you know, because if you're if you're not healthy, then it doesn't matter what comes into your life. You won't be able to enjoy it. There's nothing worse than being rich and sick. There's nothing worse than being wealthy and sick. It's like you can't even enjoy your money. You ever see people who are so wealthy, but then they're sickly. So it's like they can't even do the things that you would do if you had money. Travel the world, eat at the finest restaurants, go to, you know, certain resorts and have spas and just be, you know, have, you know, chakra alignment sessions, whatever the hell you would do if you had money. Take helicopter rides, boat trips, yacht trips, whatever. 
fl fit, you know, swim with the dolphins. Like you won't be able to do that if your health isn't taken care of. So I feel like someone's sick. I'm hearing they're sick because the name of this song is Everything I Miss at Home. And this is, um, this is, what's her name? Um, Alexander O'Neill and Sherilyn or Sherelle. So someone's missing being at home. For some of you, you're divine masculine and you have been in separation and the two of you may have just started to date again and your person got caught up in another relationship. But clearly we see that they're realizing nothing's going to come of this because they're missing you. You're everything they miss at home. You made the house a home. You made the house vibrant and loving and warm and wherever they are, it's cold. It's, it's cold as hell. So they're not doing well. They're sick over you. You know, and they're trying to muster up the strength and I'm hearing pray for your person. I'm hearing put good energy out there. I'm hearing some of them may even have like spells. Someone could have done love spells on your person to keep them there. Maybe someone is realizing your person is getting ready to like cut them off. And so they could be doing stuff and putting things in their food. You know what I'm saying? To keep them there. Some of them might be outright psycho and might try to poison them. So just be careful. Some of them could have contracted STDs. And so they're trying to heal from that. You know, so this is very serious. And we have teaching and learning. So some of them had to learn the hard way. The 71 reduces to 8. 8 is the infinity symbol. That's like infinite possibilities. So there's a sense of optimism. There's a sense of hope. There's a sense to correct whatever's going on um, in terms of physical ailments or sickness or, you know, whatever they may have contracted. It is curable, you know, and that's for a select few. Everybody don't have a man that's out there with a sick, you know what, <laughs> or a female with a sick, you know what. But someone definitely... I was dealing with someone who may have had like community P or community D. You fill in the blanks. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to say those words. But at the end of the day, there's a need to like focus on, um, you know, one's health and wellness. All right. Divine spirit of love and life. And this has been a tough cycle. This hasn't been a cake ride. You know, for some of them, they could have flat out rejected y'all and, and thought the grass was going to be greener. Only to discover that this shit was like toxic as hell. And they're unhappy. It's 2222 on the clock. So that's for some of you. That, that relationship was imbalanced. That, that was a very imbalanced, toxic. It was almost like, like I said, someone was like forcing this divine masculine in this relationship. Because they know how much the divine masculine loved you. This divine masculine has been praying, wishing. They realize you're their lucky star. They realize that you are a star. They didn't recognize you when they had you. Sometimes it, 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 good things take time to create. Sometimes it, it takes a lo all day for somebody to recognize the sunshine. And that's not even realistic. But I'm just saying this person, they were so delusional. You don't know if that past person, um, if they're whoever your divine masculine is, whoever they're attached to could have been doing things, like I said, to do like separation spells to cause conf conflict between you and your divine masculine. And I feel like this, your divine masculine is waking up to that. They're starting to see something. They're starting to see someone's true colors, tr starting to see that someone was two faced. Someone was fake. Someone spoke out of both sides of their neck like they was not real. And they've been wishing and praying on a star. They've remained hopeful. This song is by Rolls Royce. So someone has been like praying to the, you know, like I said, like praying to their ancestors. Remember, I want to thank you. Heavenly Father was playing by Alicia Myers. And I feel like they received these answers to their prayers, to their petitions. And that's why they are, you know, ending and wrapping up this tough cycle. The divine is saying, you know, you're, you're, you're needing to show compassion to your divine masculine because they're really going through a lot, but they are ready. They're ending this situation. This is nine, nine. That's the highest number of change. So it took a lot for them to fight and claw their way out of that toxic relationship. They've had some sort of download an epiphany, aha, aha moment, a light bulb moment went off for them. And I feel like they were fighting for something that wasn't worth fighting for because with this 9-9, nine nine, it's like they were taken through the ringer, man. Whoever they were with was putting them through all types of changes. And then they finally got the freaking message. The divine finally dropped the jewels and gems on their behind. And they received the download. Because they were being like 
there was root work being done on them. Someone was doing judo, like voodoo, hoodoo, juju, santeria, black magic, white magic, ritual work, spell work, something. They were doing something. They was putting shit in their food. I definitely see that. And I feel like this is how, you know, they're now looking at the situation like, oh, snap. This situation is not what it was with my divine feminine. This situation is far more toxic than I thought the relationship was with my divine feminine. This situation is definitely not something I could see myself in in the next five years, 10 years. I can't see myself planting seeds or planting roots with this psycho chick or this psycho dude. Like someone is having that epiphany. They're also needing your compassion because maybe things didn't end well with the two of you. Maybe this person flat out cheated on you with this, whoever this karmic was or is. Maybe they flat out abandoned you during difficult times, treated you like crap. And the divine is saying forgiveness is a form of, you know, strength. It's also a form of growth. So forgive your past person. You don't have to hold on to resentment and animosity because the both of you were learning from this experience. And the both of you have learned and the both of you have evolved. So compassion is necessary. Don't judge your person just like you don't want anyone judging you in your journey. So this per your, your divine masculine feminines is they're having these epiphanies. They're realizing their, their wishes are coming true. They're starting to get the clarity, the truth, their prayers are being answered and they're recognizing you as wish fulfillment. Show compassion. Don't judge. Don't judge yourselves about this situation. So that's what the we have here. So um, and I feel like they're being compassionate towards that other person. Because it's really, you know, that other person, whoever the karmic is, is like going to be butthurt behind your person finally choosing to leave and separate themselves from that person, from your, your divine masculine. We have adventure. And so your, your person is seeking, you know, adventure in their lives. This is another uh, dual number, 55. So this 55, that reduces to 10. And we have um, Ebony um, by Rick James, Smokey Robinson. Ebony eyes. So this person is definitely like whatever was exciting in their former connection, that karmic relationship. It, it's died. It's fizzled out. All the fun is gone. So they're trying to figure out how to get that 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 excitement back in their lives. And they're realizing they can't have that excitement with someone that doesn't entice that, you know, that doesn't like kind of bring that out of them. They're realizing, you know, that they need to adjust some things and namely who they're with they can't express themselves the way you know that they could with you like maybe the conversations are just kind of like blah you know they're seeing you as their their you know their their ebony eyes like they see love when they look into your eyes feminine this person misses all of the fun all of the excitement all of the spontaneity all of the fun things y'all used to do. Maybe some of y'all used to just get on the road and just wherever you end up is where you end up. Maybe y'all would just, you know, take flights. Just go do things. This person is saying, I love you. And I bet you didn't know that, girl. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 it's like there's adjustments that are required. And it's like they want to come back and they want to bring the fun into the situation. You know what I'm saying? This 55 reduces to one. So that's like a new beginning. This new beginning with you, they're going to like and they're going to make sure that there's it's fun that the two of you do things that, you know, some of y'all may never have done. There's a lot of healing. 66. Look at all the cards. You got nine, nine, five, five, six, six. Some of y'all may be seeing nine, 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 six, 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 five, five, five. Some of y'all may be seeing the number 12. Some of y'all may be seeing the number three. Some of y'all may be seeing 10, 10, 10, three, three, three. Some of y'all may be seeing one, 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 one. Some of y'all may be seeing nine, nine, nine. You know what I'm saying? This is a powerful, you know, uh, confirmation that, you know, things are about to, to happen, like pay attention to um, synchronicities. You know what I'm saying? Like some of y'all may be seeing these numbers. Maybe y'all are seeing certain animal totems. Maybe, you know, y'all are, um, you know, just really tuning and tapping in and you're just feeling this sensation that something is coming. Something is approaching, maybe communication. Um, you know, I definitely feel like when you do communicate with this person that it's going to be like exciting. And this person may confess like, I love you, you know, and I bet you didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Because we got Rick James and, and Smokey Robinson here singing Ebony Eyes. 
So this person definitely, I feel they want to heal um, their connection, the relationship with you. And I feel like, you know, they're also doing some healing uh, because they're realizing that, you know, that's what was required. You know, that's what's required in order for things to move forward with the two of you. They're going to have to like, you know, change the ways that they were looking at things before, the ways that they were responding um, or behaving. Um, but I do feel like, you know, maybe they are healing from someone who could have, you know, deceived them someone who could have duped them so they could be healing from some sort of heartbreak deception um some of you this could be like you know this divine masculine could be the father to your child the mother to your child i mean the father to your child um you know say well for some of y'all same sex maybe it's some you know like you know shoot anything goes nowadays i don't even know what's right to say anymore it's like so sensitive but you know for this parenting card i feel like yeah you know Someone could most certainly be like the father or the, you know, the parent um, to the children that you have. And, um, you know, maybe there was a lot uh, that transpired in this connection um, and it was hurtful. It was painful. Um, but I feel like a lot of you have healed. I feel like your person has also uh, been healing, you know, which is what's making them, uh, you know, have these epiphanies, these, you know, these downloads. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what's going on. A personal issue. Maybe this person, because um, it says parenting. So maybe your person, um, this could be like the other, if your person has other children, um, maybe some of them went to the other, um, you know, the, the other mother to the child, you know, that they had. Maybe they had children with another person and maybe they were trying to reconcile that relationship only to discover that, you know, that was no bueno. So we have physical activity and a personal issue reaches resolution. So physical activity and a personal issue. So whatever someone was going through, you know, like physically, because remember that health card was showing up. Um, I definitely feel like, you know, it's, it's being resolved. There's no, no alarms, no worries, no concerns. They're, they're healing just fine. Um, if someone did have some sort of STD, like I was picking up, or if someone was stressed out, maybe they've, you know, they're figuring out ways to de-stress. They're, you know, doing walking, they're running, um, they're listening to binaural sounds, maybe meditation videos. Um, we have, um, you, me and he by Matumi, um, playing right now. Um, so yeah, so you, me, and he, and so for the divine fat, feminine, um, divine masculine, this reading is for, so with this, um, you know, uh, physical activity, someone may have discovered that, you know, whoever they was dealing with was cheating on them because she said, he's my lover and I'm your wife. So the feminine could have definitely, um, cheated on your person. And, you know, the divine masculine discovered this, whoever their karmic was, was cheating. Um, they was doing a whole lot of physical activity. This 67 reduces to 13. Um, so there was instability in this connection. But your person realizes that, you know, there needs to be some sort of resolve of the situation because they were deceived. They was played. Um, abundance is here. So there's a lot of um, financial, you know, stability for the divine masculine. I feel like they've been really focusing. They rechanneled all of that hurt, pain, anger, you know, and they were healing through, you know, whatever it was that they were working on. So this is like very creative energy because that blue deals with the throat chakra. Not only does that speak to like uh, communicating, expressing yourselves communicatively, but it also speaks to expressing yourself artistically, creatively. So maybe someone started to really just put all of their energy, their passion into their work. So maybe they were working overtime and just stashing cash and they build a nice little nest for themselves and they feel fulfilled and satisfied and stable and so now they want to come back to you um but maybe things were a little tight when they was with this person because maybe this feminine this karmic was using them for money um i feel like your divine masculine is realizing that they have a deeper more profound connection with you um this 27 reduces to nine so that same energy with the nine nine there um compassion um they feel love they feel compassion uh towards their divine feminine they feel this connection this synergy this chemistry which can't be faked and so i feel like with the spiritual partnership they may feel like a lot of you are there you know it's like a alike b alike like you're like-minded um you have similar interests um, you know, you just have more stimulating conversations. You stimulate them in ways that perhaps the karmic could not have done. Um, so you got eight, eight, six, 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 I'm sorry, six, six, five, five. And then you have nine, nine. 
So this is very powerful. So this is speaking to the synchronicities um, and the, how things will start to happen. So start paying attention to your vibration. I feel like there's definitely um, going to be some downloads coming in, going to be some signs, some synchronicities, some symbolism, like something's going to start taking place in a synchronized manner uh, because your person is waking up. So we have this card here underneath it is perseverance. So your person has persevered through these difficult times, through being cheated on. I feel like this is karma, you know, karma, dharma. I feel like whatever they did to the divine feminine was, um, you know, done to them, unfortunately. But they are learning to persevere through the difficulties. They had to learn how to, you know, balance themselves out. I feel like they were kind of all over the place emotionally um, because this represents that green heart chakra. Um, you know, I mean the heart chakra, which is that green color. So I feel like they were all over the place. They were imbalanced. They weren't really, um, they didn't really have a really healthy, um, a, a understanding of love or inner standing of love. So I feel like they needed to heal that whatever they were going through. This person had to come into their life to teach them lessons, just like they came into the divine feminine's life to teach the divine feminine those lessons. So this karmic came in, served her purpose, and now they're ready to, you know, to leave that alone because they realize that that's not who they're meant to be with. They're realizing you for who you are. They're realizing that they have a spiritual partnership that they need to go and focus on. So there will be, um, things will be start, um, things are going to start turning around. Absolutely. Um, so let's go ahead and get some additional messages, beloveds. Right now we have stay a little while child by loose ends. And we have on the split rebirth and labyrinth. So there's definitely, um, you know, assessment. Your, your divine masculine is coming out of this time of, you know, being, going through the maze. You know what I'm saying? Like someone was kind of like tripping them up, confusing them, you know, putting the veil over their eyes. This labyrinth looks very confusing. It's like, how do you get to the other side? How do you, it's almost like a maze, um, but it also is like a rabbit hole almost. It's almost like someone would like sent them on this, this like this, um, dummy mission, you know, but I feel like, you know, through that, you know, they had to learn, um, how to navigate, you know what I'm saying? And the way you learn to navigate is you just got to sometimes jump into the fire, you know, but they have come out of this, you know, unscathed, also wiser. Someone was trying to force them to stay a little while, but they're like, no, nah, I got to go. You know, this, 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 this cycle is done. It's over. It's ending. I, I know what I want. You know, someone wants them to stay. And I feel like, you know, the divine masculine is ready to go. So this, this karmic is going to be like trying to do whatever to get them to stay. And that's why I was picking up like, you know, maybe someone was putting stuff in their food, uh, you know, trying to do honey spells to keep them, you know, try to make them sweet on them, do little things. That's why I was picking up like pray for your person because I'm hearing like they're fighting for their lives. Like they're unhappy, they're miserable, their health was being affected and they just want out. And it's just like, you know, that's why I don't fool around with, with other people's free will. That's why like when I do spell work, it's for me, like it's manifesting spells. It ain't about throwing nothing at nobody and throwing juju and trying to block people from coming in and coming at going out. It's like, that's not your duty. That's not what you do. That let some, let the most high handle that. But when you start taking people's free will away, what you throw out, you get back infinitely. That's how I feel about it. I don't even feel it's tenfold. I feel like it's infinitely, you know, cause karma is like, that's, that's reciprocal. You don't do no ish like that. So we have trust. So your person is learning to trust the process. They've absolutely, with the rebirth card that showed up, they've been going through major transformations. They've had to come through the fire. Like this, this is transformation. This is evolution. They've turned from this lava into this beautiful cocoon, a uh, caterpillar into this beautiful butterfly. Major transformation, major change. And it's because they took their power back from this situation. So I feel like a lot of you, like I said, pray for your person. Um, I feel like they are also learning to trust the process. They're also learning learning, um, you know, that they're not in control. So no matter what they was trying to do to control the situation, um, you know, that, that, you know, that, that they didn't have it. <laughs> they did not have it. This person also realizes and recognizes that they were, you know, completely, um, in possession of treasure. Like you were treasure to them. You were rare. You were a gem. You were special. They're recognizing you for how beautiful that you were, how much beauty you brought into their lives. 
and this is someone who knows that you know they, they could have stayed a lot a little while longer they could have fought for this connection a little while longer i'm hearing some of them are wanting to do things with you like swim with the dolphins they're going to want to do more fun outings with you you know this is this just spur of the moment spontaneity you know maybe they're going to want to take you to the beach and you guys just collect shells you know what i'm saying but this there's going to be a lot of adventure a lot of excitement in this connection in this relationship between you and this person i feel like this person has been like praying has been um asking the angels and guides um hold on one moment my bad. I completely forgot I had some tea, some water on for some tea, and it was boiling over. <laughs> this is what happens when you get all deep into the readings, boy. You just lose yourself. So right now we got expose, let me be the one. So yeah, so um, someone definitely, you know, is going to come back, and they may offer you like a treasure, a gift. Um, they may give you like a ring. They may give you something. Um, and I feel like it's like to solidify how they feel because the song that's playing is, you know, let me be the one by expose. And, um, with this mentor card, what is this on me? Ew. It's just like, what is that? How did that? Oh God. <laughs> Pardon me. I just got some sort of gravy or something on my arm. What the hell? Oh my goodness gracious. Make sure that ain't on my fingers. I don't want to mess up my cards. This is real TV. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> I'm a foolio. Okay. So yes, mantra. So your person definitely was like, I said, like praying, meditating, connecting to their higher selves, asking the divine, you know, to give them some answers. Like, remember, um, Wishing on a Star was playing by Rolls Royce. And I feel like they were sending a lot of prayers, petitions up into the ethers. I feel like a lot of you were also um, praying, you know, for your divine masculine to choose you. You know, with this song also could be, you know, where you were praying, you know, speaking those daily mantras up into the universe, asking, um, you know, that things will happen. And this is falling underneath the answer, you know, the answers you seek are, you know, um, are coming. So with these mantra, this daily mantra, speaking those things into the universe, remember I was speaking to how we are electromagnetic beings and what we think of, that's what we create. And I feel like with you speaking those daily mantras, like, or with your person even, you know, that divine masculine speaking those daily mantras daily, um, you know, calling in their divine feminine, calling in real love. Um, I feel like, you know, the answers are being you know, those prayers are being answered. And so there's, you know, this ability and this opportunity to heal a past relationship. The 66 also speaks to harmony. It speaks to love. You know what I'm saying? So this beautiful energy, um, there could also be some sort of communication which could heal a connection. And um, so that's beautiful. So divine spirit, of love and light. Why is, uh, what's going on with this divine masculine? Let's see, why is these... Uh, what is this card here? The answers you seek are coming and healing. What's going on with our beloved divine masculine? Thank you, spirit. So with the one that's face up is we have boundaries. So they've definitely created boundaries so that they can get things straight. So that they can assess their situation. And I also feel like I'm thinking of the circle of protection when you do rituals, when you do spell work. So someone has created like a circle of protection. I feel like for you all, uh, div uh, divine feminines, you need to create circles of protections for yourself as well as for your beloved divine masculine because they may be dealing with a straight up witch who could be doing things uh, to their food, who could be doing spells. You know, like I said, juju, hoodoo, voodoo, santaria, black magic, white magic, ritual work, spell work, like they're doing something. So create a sacred space of protection, a circle of protection rather. Um, we have the song by Sun Ra, um, and this is when there is no sun. Wow. Featuring um, John Gilmore. So it says when there is no sun, and this is by Sun Ra. And he said the sky is the sea of darkness when there is no sun. And so that's what a witch does. She takes away the joy, the happiness in your life. When there is no sun to light the way. So that's what's blurring your person's ability to see is when someone is like doing spells. 
There is no day. There's only darkness. Eternal sea of darkness. So yeah, I'm going to put the link for this because I feel like that's what your person was struggling with. And that's what they were healing from. They're healing from being under some sort of spell, under some sort of root work. And I feel like when your person started to create boundaries, this is when they were able to start to see the truth. They started to be able to see what what spells they were under. You know what I'm saying? So this is powerful. Thank you, spirit, for this. This is powerful. So pray for your person. I kept getting that message. Pray for your person. Pr protect them because divine feminines, that is your duty. You know what I'm saying? You are super powerful. And um, I feel like your person, you know, the divine masculine was under attack because, you know, they were susceptible, but they were more susceptible because they were kind of blinded to things like they were allowed themselves to be used. You know, they could have gotten caught up in some sort of incubus succubus situation. They were divine, um, not divine, but they were like um, energy vampirism going on. So we have connection here. A personal issue reaches resolution along with physical activity. So maybe someone started to, like I said, connect with themselves, go out for walks, runs, um, maybe going to bodies of water, sitting down, meditating in the grass, bringing your healing stones, grounding yourselves, connecting to yourselves is how someone may have received some sort of truth. You know, maybe how they're able to resolve situations. I feel like someone was really deeply connected with themselves physically and they started to pick up that something wasn't right as well. You know, maybe they started to um, do more physical activity and this also helped them to see things clearly because that's also a form of like, you know, when you do yoga, that's very, you know, that's exactly what she's doing here. So you become very connected. It's like it's like a, um, you know, mind, body and spirit connection, you know. Because you, you have to also control your breathing. You know, there's a lot of control that's required. But I feel like when you have that type of control, you're tapped into a higher frequency. And so you receive the downloads a little quicker. And that's exactly how you, were, you know, your divine masculine was able to resolve some things that they were confused and conflicted about. And, and with this eternal sea of darkness he's singing in the background and um, the name of the song, like I said, is When There Is No Sun by Sun Ra. And I will put the, the um, link in the bottom so you can hear it. I love this song. There's this, they, that's where they were. There was a lot of confusion and it's because they were dealing with a witch that was doing spells and doing voodoo hoodoo juju. So yes, so next we have um, Challenge. So there was challenges financially for your person, but those challenges are, you know, quickly ending. I feel like this divine mas this divine masculine was dealing with someone who could have been dealing with them for money, you know, and maybe they're realizing they got to like X this feminine out, this karmic out so that they can, you know, maintain a little more money. Maybe they stopped focusing on that feminine and started to save more. We have um, The Way You Love Me by Karen White. So there was um, someone who wasn't loving them right, just kind of like superficial, materialistic, wanting to get what they can out of the connection, but not really with them for the love, not really with them for the connection itself, but more so for what they can get out of it. Because remember, you, me and he played by Matumi. So that, you know, karmic was caught cheating. She was caught creeping with somebody else. And so. They love the way you love them. They realize with you, like I said, that they felt more fulfilled. They felt more stimulated. They felt like the connection was realer. Um, and I feel like when they stop focusing on, you know, whoever this person was that was bringing these challenges um, into the connection and started to focus more on, you know, getting their finances right. That's when they started to, you know, really start loving themselves a little more. They started to start to establish a sense of like self self-discipline self-respect you know they started to like their their ego you know um wasn't so much of a factor you know like they weren't allowing their ego to like blind them if you will so bottom of the deck compassion so compassion came out twice so there's definite need to not judge your person if they come back and confess how they feel divine feminine the divine is seven, saying do not um, you know, show compassion because, you know, that that's that's a beautiful way to 
to be empathic, to show that you understand, you know, your person's plight because you all have gone through it yourselves. They love the way you love them. They may come back and want to just make a small gesture. Look at this. Your person has, you know, absolutely gained some sort of wisdom, clarity, truth. They're seeing things clearly now. They love the way you love them. And they're just looking for you to take, you know, accept their apology, accept, you know, whatever offer, show compassion. They know they destroyed a lot. You know, you see if in the background, it's like all these tree limbs are like completely destroyed. All of the trees were cut down, chopped down. And the divine wants you, like they've already been chopped down. They don't need you to come back and read them. You see how she's about to read them like, yeah, well, let me tell you something. <laughs> she got her finger up and, the, and, and he's reaching out just for love. Like, I love the way you love me. Can we talk this out? Can we work this out? And, and they're saying, you know, your person sees now, sees clearly now the error in their ways. That's powerful. They love the way you love them, Divine Feminine. They love the way you love them, Divine Feminine. Don't forget that. So the bottom of the deck, we got the King of Cups. And that's exactly what that Divine Masculine, this is a loving king. This is someone who does not emote. They don't express it, though. They could also be distanced. They could be wanting to travel to say these things to you. I definitely feel like there was emotional distance, um, you know, between you and this divine masculine because whatever they were dealing with on the side, they had to go through that. You know, that's a part of the, the, the journey. That's a part of the lessons. But this king of cups is thinking of you. They love the way you love them. And this king of cups is very loving, very compassionate, very empathic. And that could be why compassion showed up twice, because that's what that energy of the king of cups is. They're very loving, very supportive. They're very paternal. You know, just like the queen of cups is maternal. The king of cups is very paternal. They're very giving, very loving, very supportive. And this king of cups is a very honorable man, but he's also devoted, you know. And so I feel like someone is coming in very, you know, with a very good intention, you know, that's why the divine is saying, look, show some compassion. You don't have to read nobody. <laughs> you ain't got to read nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because they're coming in trustworthy, honorable. They're coming in so you can let your guard down a little bit. You can like give this person an opportunity to express what they feel because what they feel is that you are the divine feminine with this four of wands right underneath that. And this is just the bottom of the deck. I'm expounding, but I want you to see what's in their energy. They are not coming into play or toy with your emotions. They have seen the light, beloveds. They've seen the light. And the light is, this is what they envision with you. They love how you love them. And all of that abundance, they're wanting to shower it upon you. So next we have, um, you are my starship by Norman Connors. Look at this, renewal. This person is thinking of coming back. They realize you are their wish fulfillment. This is the second song speaking to stars. Stars represent hope, optimism. That's what you speak out into the ethers, all of your prayers and petitions. You send it up and you wish upon a star. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this person has been doing. They're visualizing reconciliation. They want a new chance, a new start, a new beginning. This person realizes you are wish fulfillment. You are their star. You are a treasure. You are beautiful. You're special. You are my light. What? This person wants to renew a connection with you. You like have me any way you want. Let me turn this down a little bit. I'm jamming a little too hard. But they have clarity. They definitely have clarity of what they want. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's pick up on this divine masculine's energy. How do they feel about their divine feminine divine spirit? How do they feel about their divine feminine divine spirit? What's coming in, going out, going on with this divine feminine and divine masculine? What's coming in, going out, going on with this divine masculine and their divine feminine? What's coming in, going out, going on with this divine masculine and their divine feminine? He said, don't come too late and don't you come too soon. And that's because they're still in this process of learning. They're still in this process of healing. So you want to meet somebody that's already healed. You don't want to connect with somebody that's still going through the process. 
And that's why I said that, like, with that teaching learn card that showed up, I feel like through you all, you divine feminines who, is who has been d busy doing their work, who has been very busy healing on a soul level, you know, I'm talking about healing up past, you know, familial traumas, abandonment issues, childhood issues, all of that stuff. If you've been busy these past couple of years working on yourselves, you're the reason why your divine masculine is healing and is waking up. That's you've triggered them. You've activated them by you doing your work because a lot of you shifted and changed your vibration. And by you doing that, you triggered them. You know what I'm saying? Highly intuitive beings. You know, this person has been hiding their feelings, hiding the fact that they see you as wish fulfillment, hiding the fact that they feel that you are a treasure. What did I say? Hiding. And the high priestess is here on the bottom of the deck. This is about, you know, listening to one's intuition. So the energy surrounding the divine masculine is they are listening to their intuition. I feel like they've been meditating. And they're going within, like I was saying earlier, because that was the energy where they were doing a lot of inner work, realizing that whatever they're dealing with now, whatever they're involved with, whatever karmic situations they're entangled with, it's not going anywhere. And that's what they realize because you're their starship divine feminine. And so I feel at the end of the day, there's going to be some sort of um, wisdom, like there's going to be some sort of epiphany, there's some sort of aha moment. But this person is definitely listening and trusting to their, you know, trusting their intuition. See that? The Eight of Pentacles. They're looking at you with a whole new set of eyes. Now they see the divine feminine's worth. Now they see how hard you work, how resourceful you were, how practical, how domestic, how loving, how nurturing, how caring, how much you grounded the connection, how much joy, peace, love, happiness you brought to the situation. They realize that you are natural born healers. This is someone wanting to work on this connection. If you look, he has two smaller coins in his hand. He's glaring at this woman, dazing, like just like, damn, I love this woman. And he's holding this bigger, larger pentacle. So he's going to make a small gesture. That's why the divine was reminding you, look, compassion. Don't read nobody, okay? Don't do this. Don't throw the fingers up. Don't be like, yeah, and um... <laughs> And, you know what I'm saying, be wise, you know, because this person's intentions are good. The divine masculine is ready to make that offer, to give you something tangible, to lock this connection down. Angel is playing by Anita Baker. You are an earth angel. They see you as such. This m divine masculine is very attracted to this divine feminine. They see all of the possibilities when they look at this divine feminine. Damn, this is beautiful. So how does the, wow, how does divine masculine feel in their emotions? They want renewal, reconciliation. They want to reunite. This is what they feel. And that's what I was picking up. They want to return to their divine feminine. This person knows that they destroyed the connection by their deception. They know that they made some really bad decisions. They know that they took risks, didn't calculate the rewards, but now they realize you are a treasure. They also realize that you have changed and transformed. And this has also been something that has triggered them because you changing and shifting your energy and not sitting there begging and crying over the situation, but simply moving on with your lives. That did something to them egotistically. Like they wasn't expecting that. They thought they was always going to be able to go back, you know what I'm saying? And go back to the rebound, go back to the, you know what I'm saying? Because they see you as the divine feminine, obviously, they know that you are someone very, you know, maternal. And maybe in the relationship, that's the role you played. Like you was really like that person they could lean on. They were always like dependent upon you, but you couldn't get that from them. And so when you started to switch up your energy and not allow them to just come whenever they wanted, you didn't have that revolving door situation going on. That's when shit changed and they had to they had no choice but to do their work. They had no choice but to start assessing whatever connections and karmic relationships that they were dealing with. But I definitely feel like oh, whatever lies, whatever deception, whatever was hidden came to light. And I feel like this has changed the connection um, indefinitely, not only between you and them, but also between them and whatever karmic situation they had going on. But they really deep down, this is something I'm hearing. I want my family back. You're my angel. That's what Anita Baker is singing. 
you are their angel, divine feminine. They want to renew this. They want to work things out. They want to revive, resuscitate. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you are going to assess this because this is the judgment card. You know, so you're going to make a judgment when this person does return. How they feel in their emotions is deep down. That's what they want. And the ace of uh, swords is here. So they will be coming in to communicate. But I feel like they're assessing things a little longer because they're still working on themselves. And I feel like this damn witch is still doing things to try to hinder, you know, or try to um, delay this union between you and your divine masculine. But I feel like your divine masculine is receiving their downloads. They're receiving, you know, the transmissions because they are doing their healing. As they continue to stay focused and listen to their intuition, they're going to start seeing that witch for what she is and who she truly is. Communication is here. I definitely feel like your divine masculine, how they feel about you is they want to communicate and confess some things. They want to express how they truly feel because they are going through major changes and transformations. And I feel like you have done the same. And just like I said earlier, you know, you taught them by you doing your work and by you doing your work. Now they have, you know, it's activated them and they've begun theirs and they're going through these shifts and changes. And they're now starting to see things clearly. They're getting that clarity. That butterfly represents transformation. Same as the card here. This is the death card. Scorpionic energy, energy. This is the energy of endings, new beginnings. And I feel like this is something that, you know, there's significant life changes um, that has happened. And I feel like this is going to lead to like positive and powerful revelations for your person. They're seeing things clearly, obviously, with this ace of um, swords here. So they see you clearly. They know who you are. You're their angel. There's no confusion when it comes to that. This is something that they, have, they may not have communicated to you as of yet, but they absolutely will. They want to, um, they're going to cut this witch off because they also see, you know, you're their angel, but this witch is, their, is the devil on their shoulder. So they're going to have to cut that energy off the sooner the better. But the transformation card speaks to the death. So there is a death of a karmic relationship that your divine masculine is in. And it's because they're starting to see the truth. They're starting to gain the clarity. They are illuminated, if you will. And it's because they started healing. And we have um, tree by Zulima. And trees are beautiful, powerful. You know, they're very, um, these, the, they represent strength. They also represent life. You know, they represent the earth energy, the earth element of grounding. And that's exactly, you know, that energy um, that you receive. Trees have been here since the beginning of time. Like they're ancient, just like water. And trees also communicate. You know what I'm saying? Trees, uh, if you go out in nature, it's almost as if like soon as you get out there, you just automatically have a sense of clarity. And so what's hidden in the energy is I feel like if you look here, she's like meditating. She's connecting to source, to our higher self, grounding herself. Just as I'm speaking of the song that's playing, which is Tree by Zulima. So that's exactly what you do around trees. It centers you. It puts you in alignment. It makes you feel connected. See that connection card? So a powerful issue reaches resolution and I feel like it's because someone receives that aha moment you know meditating to get things straight there is that epiphany there is that light bulb moment so what's hidden in the energy thank you spirit is we have that three of swords so someone's heart was broken and I feel like that's why there was a lot of healing I feel like someone may have started to do you know a lot of activities just to get their minds off of the heartbreak I definitely feel like karma um, smack the fire out of somebody's ass You know Someone who may have wronged you That's why the divine was like Look show compassion Because what was done to you beloved Was done to them So the same pain you felt They now feel um, But I feel like this is going to help them see Clearly everything You know Now they're going to start to see things For what it truly is But they had to go through this experience Their heart was broken So this person could have been the type Who was just going around Breaking hearts left and right 
you know, because like I said, they didn't really fully have a better, you know, a good understanding of love and how to love people because I feel like they're products of their environment. They probably never were shown love. They never were shown affection. So when they got into relationships, they didn't know how to do that or be that. Maybe the relationships they were getting into, it was all physical. It was all lust. It was all superficial. Maybe the connection with you, you were the only one that they didn't have to do all of that fake ish with. But I feel like there was a lot of sadness your person may have felt from this karmic. And it's because this karmic was doing a lot of things to cause confusion, mental confusion, anguish, conflict, and depression I'm feeling as well. But I feel the person, the divine masculine definitely started to heal. You know, they started to heal and they started to gain a better connection with themselves, a better connection with their higher selves, a better connection with Mother Gaia, with universe, with source. And we have the two of um, wands. So now they're starting to look um, around in awareness. They're starting to assess things. You know, they're realizing, you know, there's two masculines on this, on this card. Maybe they discovered, you know, that there was another man involved. And this, you know, could have shook their world. There was definitely a lot of physical activity. That other masculine could have been given the deed to that feminine, to whoever the, uh, not the feminine, but to the karmic. And so I feel like, you know, your person may have thought they was in love with that, that karmic, you know, they was prepared to propose. They was prepared to do all of that, but he's holding this globe, which definitely symbolizes the end. They realized that that connection was the end. It was the end. It was the end, the death of that relationship. Nothing will come to, of this situation. So this was all a part of destiny, you know? They had to go through this. They had to learn that you can't go around treating people a certain way. Because what you put out, you get back, period, point blank. So there's two of wands. They're ready to take action, come towards you. We have the new birth. It's been a long time playing by um, William Santana. And so, yeah, this it's been a long time since this person, you know, saw the light I'm hearing. <laughs> so they've been in the darkness. And we do know that because remember um, that song was playing, you know, so, you know, when there is no sun, you know what I'm saying? Um the sky is a sea of darkness when there is no sun to light the way. So now your person sees clearly. They know with which direction they want to go. They know what they want to do, too. And it's almost like now they're like, look, I'm done with this connection. Now I can see my way clear. I know what I want because this is the end of a tough cycle with that world card in his hand. He knows this is the end of a tough cycle. Now I can focus on moving forward. They was dealing with some sort of devil energy, someone who was deceptive, someone who was very sneaky, someone who was playing a lot of games. You know, this is a game of chess, not checkers. And I feel like your person started to realize that, you know, they had they were playing with their life in a lot of ways. Because you can't be with somebody who's just loose, who's out there sleeping and creeping around. Because they could come back and potentially bring you some shit that you can't get rid of. So I definitely feel like, you know, with this energy, someone's taking the next steps to move forward. And they're going to be bold this time. They're going to go after what they want. They want to have a partnership with someone that's going to lead to the happy house, happy spouse. And they're going to do it with you because they feel like you share their dreams. You know what I'm saying? Like you share common goals and interests. You stimulate them. There's this, this commonality between the two of you. I feel like they also feel like you challenge them. And maybe that, that past, that karmic doesn't or didn't. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all used to like sit down and partake in games of chess. You know what I'm saying? Have like little verbal sparring sessions. You know, that's a beautiful thing about being with someone who is like well grounded because you could do a lot of things. You can have a lot of fun, you know, and that's what this person's realizing in their emotions. Like, damn, I have more fun with my divine feminine. And this five five represents like changes, you know, but realizing also like something has to end. Something is not coming of that situation. So why is the end of a tough cycle here? Thank you, spirit. Two messages. So that that four of look at that, the four of cups. And then we have the seven of cups. See that? So the four of cups and the seven of cups. So they felt rejected. They felt played. They felt like whoever they sat around, you know, because this is someone who um, chose someone else. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, beloveds. The divine masculine is seeing the light. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. That's what they're saying. All of the obstacles are out of their way and it's because 
this challenging this 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 person they chose over you see when i was saying like you know you have you you like the angel the earth angel and then they had like a devil on their shoulder they didn't listen to the angel they went along with that devil side but that devil still had other options was treating your person like an option the divine masculine was definitely being played with toyed with this divine masculine was just one of many because remember the song you me and he and so the divine feminine was dealing with someone who rejected that now they're feeling like damn i done missed an opportunity you know what i'm saying but the end of a tough opportunity uh the a tough situation is because they've already made a decision to move on. They've already made the decision. They've already see things clearly. They already recognize, you know, that this karmic is full of crap. That they loose. They out there sleeping and creeping with anybody. And now they're trying to figure out, how do I get back with my divine feminine? How do I offer my divine feminine what she absolutely deserves? That's what they want to know. They see you clearly. They recognize this relationship for what it truly is. They also realize you brought a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of peace, a lot of warmth to their life, into their life. Why is the, um, let me get one more card. Let me get one more card to, Mena, to clarify this uh, challenge. Thank you, spirit. And so we have the lovers. See, I can't make this up. You challenge them. You are their divine feminine. They realize that now. They're coming back to claim you. And this is that 88 abundance. They have a, an abundance of love for you. And they're going to come back and they're going to want to challenge you to take them back. And it's because they're realizing like you the yin to their yang. You are true love for them. They have a deeper, more profound connection. They feel like the two of you are like you have a very intimate friendship. And they're making this decision from the heart. They're making this decision, you know, very clearly. They're thinking very, very clearly. And they know what you bring to the table. They know what you can offer them. Aside from that, that karmic that they got entangled with. Excuse me. And so, yeah, they was breadcrumbing you along. They are aware of that. And that's why they're aware it's going to be challenging to try to get you to give them a chance. That's why the divine was like, look, show some compassion because you do have an argument. You do have a, a leg. You know what I'm saying? You do have um, reason to be perturbed because you were completely like pushed aside so that they can go on and, and, and you know, entertain some karmic. But you got to look at how things played out, played out exactly the way it was meant to play out. So there's going to be some challenges. They're recognizing that, but they're willing to come back. You know, they definitely breadcrumbed you along. Um, we have Peter Tosh. I am that I that I am. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Now they want to give. They want to return back to you. They realize that you are someone that they have not only admiration for, but adoration. They love you. You may have known this person since childhood. You may have children with this person. I feel like your person, this divine masculine, is potentially healing the child within. They're learning to love. They're learning to express themselves. But I do feel like this person does see you with this lover's card here, along with the Six of Cups. This is definitely someone who's, you know, romanticizing, you know, on how things can be. And I feel like they realize like, damn, I am that I am, you know, and the mistakes I made, they want to write them. They want to write those wrongs. And I feel like this person knows like, you know, by them doing the right thing, that good things can come out of this situation. So there may be an apology. There may be some sort of acknowledgement of, you know, whatever they've done, you know, to you. Um, they may acknowledge, you know, they may apologize and say, look, I know, you know, that I screwed things up. You know, I'm only a man, <laughs> you know, and I feel like a lot of you, like I said, the divine just wants you to be compassionate. Don't be judgy, you know, because we've all, you know, we've all had to learn um, in our ways. You know, we've all had, you know, to learn, you know, um, through karmics, you know, we've all had to learn. So let's tap and tune in divine spirit. What's on the bottom? Ten of cups. So they definitely feel you bring that wish fulfillment, that happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after vibes. They can see themselves having children, a family, happily ever after energy. Like this is beautiful energy and they know they want to come toward you. They're trying to manifest this. They know they kept you waiting as well. 
you know, while they played games, toyed around. Trust me, it wasn't no easy task. They didn't get what they thought they was getting out of it. They want a new beginning. They also feel a lot of passion. They dream about you a lot at night. When they go to bed at night, you're on their mind. When they wake up, you're on their mind, Divine Feminine. See that? They see you as wish fulfillment. And I feel like a lot of you have been like really loving on yourselves, focusing on yourselves. When I said you walked away, you walked away, baby. They want to take this risk. They want to take a leap of faith with you. For many of them, they took risks and it didn't land them anywhere. Just land them into, you know, a pool of pain and hurt and confusion. You know, they was mentally conflicted. And it's because someone had them trapped in their mind, you know, had them confused. They didn't even recognize themselves when they looked in the mirror. You know, it was very foggy, gaslighting. You know, someone was, you know, pulling the wool over their eyes, you know, playing games, manipulative games, gaslighting until they transformed. I feel like a lot of you transformed as well. You know, this is that energy of going through major life changes, going through enormous change. And coming out of it stronger, coming out of it wiser, coming out of it more prepared. See that? They betrayed. There was betrayal. There was deception. There was hurt. But there was a lot of transformations because of it. I am that I am. And I feel like your person's realizing the error in their ways. I am that I am. So they were products of their environment. They may have hurt you because they were hurting. Hurt people hurt people every single day. And I feel like now they're realizing the way that they were hurt, the way that they were betrayed, that they can't go around treating people like that. A lot of them were very focused on being controlling, thinking that they could rule with an iron fist, trying to be controlling, trying to take control. And this is the games, you know, that people play. So they met the challenge with someone else. Maybe that's what attracted, you know, this person, this, this divine masculine is attracted to someone who is on their frequency on their vibration and you like look i can match you with with i can match your energy don't get it twisted and so you know maybe that's what kind of drew the line between the two of you because maybe you and your divine masculine were kind of mirroring each other in that regard and i'm hearing the word softer you know maybe that karmic was a little softer maybe she was a little more passive Things needed to be balanced out. I also feel like, you know, your divine masculine is definitely receiving a bit of karma. Or maybe, you know, that's just the divine saying that, look, everything's going to be handled fairly and justly. Um, we have Baby Don't Cry by Layla Hathaway. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Baby Don't Cry. And this is the healing card after the heartache, after the pain, after the betrayal. And I feel like you had to, you know, you had to lick your own wounds. You had to do that by yourself silently. And I feel like that's what your person's currently going through because now they're mirroring where you coming from. They're unburdening themselves, walking away from that relationship because they realize it's not going anywhere. Whatever they was waiting for, whatever they thought it was leading to, it didn't. It didn't, it didn't go nowhere. It was a burden on them. Far worse than anything they thought that you brought to them, Divine Feminine. And this was because karma has everyone's address. Mama, my aunt, she has everyone's address. So let's go ahead and clarify these messages. Let me do a cut by Spirit of Love and Light. Let's see what's coming in, going out, going on with this Divine Masculine. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. There we go, that same Ten of Wands. So yeah, there was a lot of secrets and this was very burdensome. I feel like your person put a lot of energy into the wrong person and they didn't get nothing out of it. And so it's like, don't cry now. Don't cry over spilled milk. This is the bed you created. So now you got to lie in it, beloved. But secrets came out, things that they, your, your divine masculine didn't know, it came out. And so, you know, don't cry. The changes are necessary. I feel like with the same high priestess energy here, it was like they, they started to look at things for what truly was going on. I feel like you and your divine masculine also have this like this telepathic um, connection. It's like there's this synergy, like you all can think of each other and all of a sudden you'll get a message or you'll get an email or you'll get some sort of text or you get some sort of correspondence and it's because the two of you are like you are tapped into each other's frequency you know you could feel their pain and they could feel yours baby don't cry you know and I'm feeling like you know there's a lot of dream activity maybe there's astral traveling but I feel like your person your divine masculine is definitely moving on leaving someone something behind because they realize that there's nothing coming out of that situation so how your divine masculine feels in their emotion, they definitely feel heartbroken. They know that they caused a lot of pain, 
but what they deeply want is to revive, to rejuvenate, to heal, to resuscitate this connection. And they want your forgiveness for doing this to you. You've already healed past that pain, but they're still hurting because they know that they hurt you. And they're saying, baby, don't cry because what they deeply want is to restore this family unit. The divine feminine, divine masculine in union is what your person wants. And I feel like with this beautiful angel here, they could be summoning their angels and guides, asking, praying, you know, petitioning for some sort of activity because they do feel like you are their treasure. You are unique. You belong to them. They know this time around, you know, they're going to have to change. They're going to have to adjust. They're going to have to like, you know, be willing to compromise. They're going to have to be willing to work on this connection and not just try to rule with an iron fist. How they feel about you. What did I say all along? What I was saying is they feel your wish fulfillment. They feel that you are a star. They feel like you bring a sense of hope. You bring a sense of love, of light, of warmth, of strength. They feel also that you all are master manifestors. This person has been tied to some dark entity, dark energy, and they've been praying and asking for some sort of answers, praying and asking for some sort of truth, some sort of clarity, because their minds were so foggy, fucking around, pardon my language, messing around with this damn witch ass broad, this karmic. They didn't create a sacred space. They did not create a sacred space, but there's healing from whatever trauma they endured from that relationship with this star their prayers are being wished um, being answered there's a lot of prayers and uh wish fulfillment coming through i feel like especially when they were sending up those you know speaking those daily mantras asking for truth asking for light asking for clarity well the ancestors was like vo voila and we have earth wind and fire keep your head to the sky and that's exactly what this person is doing. They're keeping their head to the sky, wishing and praying, sending up prayers, sending up petitions, sending up those daily mantras. But they also don't realize what they're doing is co-creating with source, with the universe, because your words are powerful. Words bind. Words are spells. So as you cast spells, make sure it's something that you desire. As you thinketh, you create. As you speaketh, you create. So this is what this, you know, this energy was doing. Your masculine started to ask the ancestors for clarity, for truth, for, you know, some, some, uh, for the power to release this energy, but more importantly, for the strength. And so they began the healing process because they started to see the truth. They started to get those downloads. So they've been healing and through healing, now the wish fulfillment can ensue. And now there's this, aha, <laughs> light bulb moment. You know what I'm saying? They completely transformed how they were seeing things previously. And now they can cut themselves free from this toxic energy, from this person that was keeping them bound, stuck and stagnant. And now they could create this protection from them, you know, of themselves from this karmic, you know, and we have the seven of pentacles. So feeling like they have planted seeds elsewhere, a lot of work, you know, that was put into a connection. They've been optimistic with keep your head to the sky. That's about hope. That's about optimism. That's about wishing and praying on a star like I was saying earlier. And so that's what your person did. They continue to plant seeds. They continue to work hard, which is why they had that abundance. The divine masculine is remaining hopeful because they know they put time, energy and, and invested a lot. But they didn't wait around to see those seeds grow, see those seeds, you know, harvest, if you will. And so now they want to return and they want to see where this this thing can go. So why is this three of swords here, divine spirit, for our beloved divine masculine and what's hidden for the energy? To the sky. And this three of swords came out twice in this reading. So there's a lot of hurt on divine masculine's um, side. They're very broken hearted. And I feel like they're broken hearted, not only because of what this karmic did to them, but also because of the pain that they caused you. And that's why they're receiving, you know, this, 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 like, this is a, a dose of karma, you know, you know, but, um, why is this, uh, personal issue res um, reaches resolve here, followed by the physical activity, the connection and the three of swords for the, what's hidden in the energy for the divine masculine. Why are these beautiful cards here? And we have the magician. See that? They started to realize their power and they were also being manipulated. 
You see what I'm saying? They were being manipulated. And when they started to make those connections with their higher selves, that's when they were able to see the truth. But they were being manipulated, you know. This magician is like a master manipulator. And that's why, you know, this issue was so daunting. It was very difficult to get out of the grips of someone who could have been doing some sort of root work on them. And it was because it was just, you know, they weren't seeing this person clearly, you know. But I feel like they started to pay attention to their intuition. They started to, you know, become more connected. You know, but remember that tree, they started to ground themselves and through, you know, making those connections with their higher selves, with universe source, the nature, you know, that helped them to start healing. And it also opened their eyes to whatever they was dealing with. This person that they were dealing with, this karmic was causing confusion purposely. They was listening to a lot of boo-boo to fools, a lot of da dun da dunts. This is a lot of chaos, but this also speaks to challenges, conflict. This is people in secret competition. So someone was like, like I was saying earlier, someone was like sending your divine masculine on dummy missions. There's no like, where are the, where's the resolve in this chaos? There is none. You know what I'm saying? There's no resolve in this when everybody's going in every different direction. And so I feel like that's what was going on. Your person realized, you know, that they were being manipulated emotionally mentally psychologically and also through sex someone was using sex as a weapon because we have physical activity so whenever they had an argument that that karmic would throw sex at them that karmic would do some you know some 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 you know would entice them you know and that's that incubus succubus energy energy vampirism and i feel like your person was completely confused and with this you know these wands on fire like i said i feel like there was definite um contraction of some sort of std and um that could have been in straw that broke the camel's back we got fela kuti lady as i'm speaking of the karmic and her promis promiscuity so she definitely contracted something that lady contracted something and and this broke your person's heart because they had to go get some damn shot in they ass or take some damn penicillin or whatever the amoxicillin whatever the fuck they call them them damn pills to get rid of STDs and you know things like that I don't know but th there was definite confusion disappointment heartache pain frustration um you know but at the end of the day there's clarity now you better believe it they got the aha moment they had that aha moment so why is the um four of cups seven of cups and the lovers here for the outcome why is this four of cups thank you see that the victory you can't make this up they want a victory with you. They see things clearly. This is them moving on. There's also a reason of celebration. There's a reason to celebrate because they're moving on. They're charging ahead. And this is the moon listening to their intuition. Something came to the surface. Come, something came to light. And this is the end of a tough cycle. That's what the divine was saying. End of a tough cycle with the victory here. That means that this person has definitely, they've learned the lessons. They've learned those karmic lessons rather. And they've reached uh, the end of a karmic cycle. So they now can move forward. Whatever was causing confusion, whatever was causing, you know, conflict, whatever was challenging them, they're no longer confused and conflicted. I'll tell you that because they see the light. I could, I'm, I'm here and I see the light now. They see this person, whoever they was dealing with, they see them for who they truly are. They can no longer be duped by somebody because now they see them. The spotlight is up like. And this is like, you know, they're angels and guides. Your divine masculine is being like celebrated here because, you know, they, they've reached some sort of end, you know, and it's because they did the work. They definitely met the challenge. So this is powerful. Do we want to see what's going on with the karmic? I'm hearing no. She ain't even a part of this. We're going to ig her ignorance. But this is a reading for the divine masculine so that the divine feminists could see, you know, where the divine masculine is on their journey. And it looks like the divine masculine is waking up to the karmic. They're waking up to how toxic, how sick this, you know, female is because she has been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. She's been cheating and creeping and crawling, and she definitely caused conflict between you and your person, came in between a divine union. But I feel like your person is like definitely realizing like that situation isn't going anywhere. It's not meant to go anywhere because their heart is still with you. And I feel like they know that you are their lady. 
They know that you are their divine feminine. They know that you are their divine counterpart and they're coming for you and they want the victory. This also could represent marriage. They could come back and say, look, I want to marry you because remember we had the lovers here. So they definitely have um, long term goals in mind, you know. But this is your beloved reading, collective energy. I hope that you found that this reading resonated. Um, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. Um, this is a new video. This is something new. I only read for Scorpios, but I was, um, you know, I was called to do like a collective reading for like divine masculine divine feminine just to see where you all are on your journey um but this was a beautiful reading i do thank you so much for tuning in tapping in until next time ashe